Libra, how you doing? So we have got a new setup. There's a new microphone. There's actually a new camera. Look, Libra, look, you can actually follow me. Look, you can, if you look over on this screen here, camera one, camera two. So the name Cameron or Camomile, Mel, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Justin, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jan, Danielle. You all right? How you doing, Libra? So you can follow me around if you like. You can look at my ugly mug as much as you want. If you go, oh, you right, Dave? What, what, what? You're all right. <laughs> how you doing, Libra? So, uh, yeah, new camera, new setup. Like I can also go here so we can kind of quickly switch to this one here. When we look down, hopefully it's all all right for you. Let me know why you can't because the comments are closed now, Libra. I'm sorry, but I'm fed up with people keep moaning at Steve. I've had it, Libra. I've had it up to, oh, I'm filling up, Tom here. I'm absolutely filling up. So, hopefully it's all right for you. If you want to comment, you can go over to Discord. Discord is free. The link is below. Okay. Uh, it's free to join. Okay. It just lets you comment and do all things over there. Okay. And then I can actually block people. <laughs> so let's see. Um, also, I um, do need to add is, is that, um, well, I don't because commenting, but uh, never mind. So Libra. So let's see. Libra. What should they be aware of? So we're going to look at what to be aware of in your environment. I'm all excited, Libra. I'm all think fingers and thumbs. You could be dealing with a cat, which might be a Leo or an Aquarius. Okay. Um, but we're going to look at your environment first, and we're going to look at the right away to do your tarot for June. So let's see, Libra. If I have to keep looking over here, it's not. that's not the only television. There's another one there, and that's got my face on it. <laughs> so let's see, Libra. What is Libra? Should they be aware of in their environment, please, in June? So you've got a break up with her. I'm bored. Oh, okay. So some of you might be just kind of like, you know what, Dave? I am literally fed up with this bitch. And I really can't be doing with her. She's more than a pain than she what she's worth. <laughs> Sorry, Libra. But someone thinks that you're boring. Because <laughs> it does say break up with her. Okay. Now, unless there's a third energy and someone saying, look, will you just finish with that bitch? Because I am so sick to death of her. Keep moaning. Okay. I can't help it, Libra. Is it right or is it wrong? I don't know. But it says break up with her. I'm bored. Okay. Please just break up with that bitch. So let's see. So this one's just for fun. It's just in case it is in your environment. Okay. But this girl is going ham at it with this other one saying, listen, Pam, I've had enough of you being with someone else. You're supposed to be with me, ain't you? Okay. Stop eye wandering like, God damn, dick at that rackly over there. <laughs> so see, Libra. This bit's just a joke. Then we'll get serious, right, Libra? So see, Libra, what should they be aware of in their environment? That maybe in your environment that someone could be after your man here, yeah, Libra. Okay, someone could be like, what are you doing? Right. Could be called David or Swimmer, right? There you go. Could be called Dan, Danielle, Danny Glover. Anybody's got D in their name? D's nuts. They could be after their nuts. Okay, let's see. Libra, what should they be aware of? Someone's after your man, Libra. Okay, so still dating. Keeping options open. Oh, okay. Well, that one really doesn't make too much sense. So I must be doing Libra. What we've got? Auto focus. Look at that. Look at the focus on it, bruv. So um, still dating. Keeping my options open. So some of you, this is basically just stick your dick in the bowl type sort of energy here, maybe. I don't know. But break up with her because I'm bored. But I'm still dating someone, but I'm also single at the same time. Does that make any sense? I mean, are you dealing with a player? It's kind of like, well, it's like a one-night stand. It's like I see you now and again, and then I see someone else now and again. Jen, Julian, Jason, Gen. Gen, 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 Glenn, someone from Scotland. But it says I'm still dating, but I'm keeping my options open. But you need to break up with her. Yeah, but I'm not dating anyone. Oh, okay, Libra. I hope you're not caught in one of these situations. Now, this can be male or female. I don't care. Okay, if it's true... If it's here, it's here. We're not doing your tarot yet, but I'm just going with the flow. You could be in a circumstance where someone just comes in and it's on a one night stand type sort of basis of like, well, I'm sort of seeing someone, but I'm not. But I kind of am, but I'm not really classed as dating them. Okay, so I really don't know where I stand, but I'm keeping my options open. So you could be on like a dating website where it's more of a swipe left, swipe right. You could actually just be getting to know someone. It's kind of like, well, it's not really a girlfriend or boyfriend. Now, if you've got a guy that's doing this to you, Libra, right? And this guy comes in and he's, or Jai, or John, or Julian, or Jason, or Justin, or Jackie, or Jasmine, 
But like, if this guy comes in and says, well, you know, I'll kind of have you and then I'll just kind of like go back to the other one, then you are caught right in the drama triangle there, Libra. Let me just tell you now. Okay, so let's see. Libra, what's going on with Libra, please, in their environment? So, Karen, bitch. <laughs> it's got to be Karen, isn't it? Look at her, look. This is the lunatic that actually come on my chat window. You're an arc. You're, you shouldn't be doing all of this stuff. You're an arc, sweetheart. I'm just saying. Okay, keyboard warrior. Oh, look. Once warriors may be... So Over here, Dave. Hello. Hi. I'm over here. That's it. Follow me. <laughs> Make sure you hit the follow button and subscribe and join and all that stuff. But a keyboard warrior here, look. So you got someone's like, well, oh, right, I'm going to instigate and I'm going to break them up because they shouldn't be together. And I'm just going to do all I can to cause harm to this motherfucker. And I'm going to literally rip their hair out. And I've got my hair all up in weaves and everything. I could even call Steve. What? That's my name. No, I don't break people up. What's that? I'm going to break Emily and Steve up. <laughs> Someone was having a go at me about what th shit that they don't even know. I haven't even said anything online. Someone just jumps straight to conclusions. <laughs> but like, I'm going to break them up. I am. I'm telling you. They shouldn't be with that person. Now, like I said, man, if y'all caught in a, a drama triangle of metaphysics and physical, then if someone's getting physical and getting jiggy with it, Will Smith, okay, but getting jiggy with it with someone else, but then there's another person that's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now this could even be an interfering mother or parent, someone in your environment that's like, I don't like the fact that those two are together. I really don't. It's like, well, I'm going to have to tell you a little white lie then, aren't I? Well, we're not really date. We're just sort of like, we're friends. We're, we're just friends. That's it. We're just friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can really hear an instigator here, Libra. And I can see that dislike button just going off because someone just doesn't like a Libra. <laughs> so, uh, I have it twice in Vedic. Don't worry, Libra. I get you. I get you. I know that every star sign has haters and everything. Okay, let's see. So, you've got a mother, maybe, for some of you, that just loves to instigate, okay, that loves to instigate information, and I'm gathering all, or Gavin, or Steers, or Gavin and Stacy, okay? But, like, uh, you know, I'm going to gather all of the information up about this couple, and I'm going to stalk the absolute shit out of them. And I'm going to find out all this info I can, okay, to split them up. Or just to cause trouble. All right, this is where your mother or your mother-in-law come at you and pretty much say, yeah, I know more about your relationship and what he does and what she does. I know. I know. Oh, I know. Oh, God, it sounds like Tina, Tina Robinson. Jesus. Oh, I know. Oh, I know more than you do. Oh, my God. If you're dealing with someone like that that I used to know, Tina Robinson, Jesus Christ, you need to run for the hills, instigating everybody else's business other than her own. Here. <laughs> the Libra I used to know used to be the boss of Tina times 10. God, unless your name's Tina and you're on here and I ain't got no idea who you are. <laughs> right here, but I'm just on about... I don't know what I'm on about. Libra, what should they be aware of in their environment? So, he's not good for you right now. Oh, my word. You have got some instigating energy going on up in here, Libra. Let me just tell you now. Okay. So, he's not good for you right now. He really doesn't need to... Fuck, what is going on with this player? I mean, you might be in all of the muscle. Like, you know, you know what? I just love meatheads with tattoos and big... Big mouths and big everything, right? <laughs> yeah. Right, and I keep going for the bad boys. And what happens when I go for the bad boys? They treat me like Michael Jackson, okay? <laughs> I just have to go for the bad boys every single time, don't I? Libra, what's in their environment, please? I'm in love. Oh, no. Someone's just, oh, my God, putting a bitch right in her place. Oh, is it a fish? Is it Pisces? I'm going to put that place right, that fish right in its place. God, Haddock, fish, Pisces. Cheers. 
Anybody like the white monsters? Oh my God, I love them. You can actually have them on Slimming World. Did you know? Not, not know that. Well, there's your first Rebecca cards or deck of cards. Rebecca, Rachel, Rashad Evans, Barry, Tina, Tyler, Taro. Someone could be a tarot reader up in here. Okay. So there's someone in your environment as it stands, maybe at the moment. Okay, Libra, that does not like someone else's relationship. Just put it that way. Okay. So let's see if you've got anything else coming up around your love, your money, uh, anything that's going to be more than likely happening with you over June. Hey, June, don't be afraid. Let's see. Don't be afraid of the big bad Leo or an Aquarian. Let's see. So, Libra, what have they got coming up for June, please? What have they got coming up for June? Oh, it's an ending. It's inevitable, Libra. It's an inevitable ending. What do we do? Oh, no. Can't cope. Let's see. So in this screen, it's going to be reversed. I'm putting it on the left side, but you'll see it on the right going this way. It's weird. Uh, let's see. Libra, what have they got coming up for June, Libra? A new beginning and a fresh start. I think you're over this. Whatever this is, you're like, you know what? I am so over all of this crap. It could be an ex-husband or a wife. You could have children and stuff like that. And you're like, you know, I'm just sick of death of this person. Keep fighting against me all the time. It's kind of like they might be dating, but I know them. I know that they're just going to go off and do this to another person. And I can't stand my ex. Now, this could be someone saying it about you, Libra. <laughs> you know, your ex could be like, oh, I just, I can't stand the fact that they're moving on. <laughs> uh libra what they got coming up for i'll say this to every star sign even if you're cross watching it i'll always go with the star sign i'm doing <laughs> right i can just feel the hatred coming my way let's see libra what they got coming up for june oh blocking oh i've had enough tom oh i'm not speaking to there i'm not no tommy i'm telling you what i'm filling up tommy i'm not speaking to there no now, it could be someone from up north. It could be Laura Felix. No, I'm not talking to that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not Vera. <laughs> <coughs> There's a Pisces up in here somewhere, because every time I say not, that's my Pisces card. Swinging upon a tree. I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not speaking to that. Now, this could be a mum. Your mum, right? And you're like, I am not speaking to that person. They are always digging into my information. Now, if you are a mum, Libra, okay, if you are a mum, because we're dealing with numerology and astrology and everything else, so the story as fits, or fits, this person has epilepsy, or fits, or something like that, or fits of rage, but like, or fits, he fits Gerald, fits Patrick, okay, or, okay, some of you might work for, ch like, disadvantaged children, or you have a disadvantaged children, okay, a uh, child, maybe. Um, but if you're finding that you're a mum, right, and that your children are not speaking to you and they're not saying anything, this is kind of like maybe playing off ex-husband or whatnot. Well, this is my mum and this is, I don't like her, okay, and she gets on my nerves. She won't let me do anything I want to do. She's only raised me, <laughs> right? She's only raised me and spent all of her money and her time and her effort trying to bring me up. I want the dickhead in my life that's going to, that's knocked you off. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if you're watching, I don't mean you if you're cross watching because you're not involved. It's just your story, right? The person that you're cross watching isn't the person that's watching this as a Libra, right? So just calm down. <laughs> but I'm hearing for a lot of you, you're kind of like, yeah, but I've raised you, man. I've done everything that I can to raise you, and I've spent money, and I'm finding it very difficult to cope. I'm a single mum, and you want to go off to him? He's never done anything. He's never paid anything for you. Okay, why do you want to go off to him and leave me? Okay, now I'm really picking up an energy of that, if I'm honest, that you guys are more than likely single out here, and you're kind of floating around maybe an energy of like, uh, I don't know. Right, and then your ex is kicking off and your child is not speaking to you right here. Now, if you, or F, Steph, Jeff, Steve, Sarah, Sandra, but if Jeff, 
if, right? Unless your name's if. My name's if. But like, if you're kind of like, well, I'm sort of dating, but I'm not. Like, I'm spending majority of my time focusing on my ex to try and keep them away. And I'm not really dating anybody. Like, I'm really not that interested in this person here. Libra. What's going on with Libra, please? For June. What's going on with Libra for June? Oh, single as an absolute Pringle. Gah. So this is a divorce separation, was married at one point. There is a commitment there if one wants one, but I don't think one does want one here, <laughs> right? So this is a very unhealthy attachment that you have to someone because this is healthy, this is unhealthy. This is also someone that digging for information as much as they possibly can because it's a nine. In reverse, it means this card here. Digging for information. Karen, bitch. Okay. Trying to dig for as much information as I can on this person. Stalk the shit out of them and try to ruin their life here. Right. Because this is always, there's one thing missing. So Virgos or Life Path Nines can be very good at analyzing and finding out info. Mental health, physical health, other people's relationships. If you get one that is instigating an energy here in a bad way this kind of like relating to that right i'm doing as much research as i can on other people to try and find out what they've got going on and this is like a very unhealthy attachment of researching too much is going on with someone now if you have or anybody here has adhd or mental health problems it's not their fault okay because I did pick up another energy here of uh, an incapacitated child, okay? Now, if your child has, like, ADHD and you've got an ex-husband or a wife and they're playing you off against them, okay? Oh, I've just realised. Hold on a minute. I haven't took off me. Oh, that's why, Dave. I've got this covering it up. What is going on? No wonder. <laughs> that might be better. I still have my little sticker on it. Um, so like, yeah, if you, um, if you've got like a, an ex and your child's got like ADD or ADHD and your ex-husband or wife is kind of playing off that, then that's really confusing this child here completely. Even if this is a mum and like one of your kids is like really suffering, it's very difficult to be able to bring up this child because, it's like I'm going to have to put my ego aside for realizing that my kid is the way my kid is, okay? And um, I'm going to have to, like, you know, because there's this attached, detached energy, and I'm finding it very difficult to detach from my kids, okay, my children. If you've got Scorpio or Aries in your chart or you're a life path four, you're going to find that very difficult to detach from children because Scorpio means obsession, and it definitely means obsession over a child. 100% that's a trait of Scorpio. Scorpio placement has children. They're obsessed about their kids. Okay. Yeah. So I can't let my children go. I'm not going to let them go. No. Okay. So there can be a difficult energy there with the children. I understand of such a tight grip that I have on you. Okay. Because this is, I'm not letting you go. I'm not letting you in or out. And I'm going to squeeze every lingual, lingual, lingual. Pringle, uh, uh, Lynn, uh, but some of you could be really suffering financially here. Like financial stuff is like, I can't even afford to do things for myself. Like can't afford makeup and products and stuff that I really want. Like, you know, this would also be like, you know, zinc and uh, uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, all of those. And I'm like running low on food and I'm running low on everything. And how do I cope and all that sort of stuff. And, I can't afford all of the nice things that I really want for myself because I can't afford it. And I can't afford to take you everywhere that you want to go. And you might have an ex-husband that's kind of like, well, Chantel, I've got loads of fucking money and you can come over here and I'll treat you with whatever you want. And then you're like, ah, <laughs> right. So that's kind of what I've got for you at the moment. Let's see if that made up any difference. So what I do do now, okay, you're right. Is that any problem? Whoa. 
Extreme close up. It seems to follow you wherever you go. This one, Dave. Right. So, um, yeah, if you want to go over to Patreon, it really does help me out as a channel. And it is only two or three dollars, depending on which Patreon uh, tier that you want to join. But the bronze, silver, and gold. You have a choice of three, Libra. It's like being a Piscean, right? But like uh, that one is two or three dollars for the monthly. It doesn't cost you a real lot. You get access to all 12, okay? And then if you follow me in numerology, you can also watch those too, okay? And your partner and yours. So you, got, you, know, you watch them all and figure it all out, what's going to happen. If you want more than that, then there's the silver tier. That's where the monthlies and the weeklies are. So all the weeklies, when the monthlies are done, the weeklies go at the silver tier only. Well, and the gold. Gold tier is the best tier because it also has monthlies, weeklies, and then it also has 75 teaching videos that are also over there with loads of information about channeling and stuff that I also do do. Not really on this one, but like I also have the join button that is also below. So if you want a few questions, you're like, I really just want a couple of three questions, a couple of cards. When I go live nearly every other night, now I've got all my set up working out properly. When I go live, I can just say, okay, what's your name? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is your outcome. This is how they feel, what their intentions. Okay, bam, there you go. Cost you two or three dollars. Very cheap. I think it's $2.99, I think. But I'm British pound, so I don't know. Um, and then you've also got videos that are over there. Channeling the deceased also is what you get for the join button as well. That's only two or three dollars. But that's separate from the tarot readings to the join button for, for YouTube. Okay. So there are all your options and everything is below. If you need a personal reading or anything like that, you can follow all the links provided in the show more section. Okay. So thanks very much, Libra. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you on the other side.